Hello everyone, and welcome to the third chair melee chain grab guides. Today, we will be going over Captain Falcon's down throw chain grab on Marth, his down throw semi chain grab on Sheik and Roy, and his up throw semi chain grabs on Fox, Falco, and himself. Falcon's chain grabs are pretty neat due to the fact that they are pretty easy to learn and have some strong follow ups, even for the ones that are not true. Anyways, let's showcase exactly how to perform Falcon's chain grabs. We will begin by going over some basic information about Falcon's grabs and throws. For starters, Falcon should usually jump cancel his grab. This is due to the fact that his dash grab is 4 frames slower on startup and has an extra 10 frames of lag if the grab whiffs. Also, Falcon's up throw is not affected by character weight. That means that Falcon will be able to move at the same time regardless of character thrown. On his down throw, however, as it is affected by character weight, he'll have slightly different timing for when he can start to move, but Sheik, Roy, and Marth are pretty similar in weight, so it's rarely noticeable. Falcon's chain grab on Marth goes from 0 to 24%, regardless of DI. After 24%, Marth is able to jump out, so you can go for aerial follow-up combos instead. For no DI, just do a standard dash jump cancel regrab. You have to be a little quick on your reaction, but it's not too hard to get down. For away DI, you still have to do a dash jump cancel regrab, but you must perform the dash and wait a little bit before you do the regrab, in order to catch Marth as he is flying pretty far away. For behind DI, you can either regrab Marth with a small dash jump cancel regrab, or you can walk forward a bit and regrab him. Sadly, Falcon's chain grab on Roy is not a true chain grab. It does, however, go from 0 to 86% on behind DI and 0 to 130% on no DI. For away DI, Falcon is forced to tech chase, but you can get pretty great follow ups doing that as well. For behind DI, Falcon can regrab Roy at low percents by going for a standing grab a small walking grab, or a very short dash jump cancel regrab. As Roy's percentage gets higher, you are going to have to dash jump cancel regrab, and you can end this chain grab by going for a down throw into a knee. For no DI, the chain grab is performed the same way, regardless of percent. You go for a dash jump cancel regrab, but as Roy's percent gets higher, just keep running further and further in order to catch him. The reason this goes longer than behind DI is because Roy's angle gets sent closer to the ground, allowing you to regrab him before he can jump out. You can end this chain grab by going for a down throw into a knee, an up air, or an air. For away DI, Roy gets sent too far and hits the ground, causing a tech chase situation before Falcon is able to regrab him. This is why this is not a true chain grab. Falcon's down throw chain grab versus Sheik is almost exactly the same as his chain grab on Roy. Therefore, it is not a true chain grab, but it does go for very high percents on no and behind DI, whereas away DI will lead to a tech chase. No DI goes from 0 to 125%, while behind DI goes from 0 to just under 100%. For no DI, Falcon can just dash jump cancel grab to regrab Sheik. At low percents, this is a small dash jump cancel grab, and at high percents, this is a very long dash almost into a run and then you want to do your jump cancel grab. Falcon has a wide variety of end punishes he can do, such as an instant up air, a down throw into a knee, or you can go for a down throw into a nair into a knee at mid percents. Most people usually tend to knock Sheik off stage, however, as you can set up into an edge guard situation where you can go for a very strong follow up. Falcon will follow up Sheik on behind the eye by going for a small dash jump cancel regrab. You can end this by going for a down throw into a knee. This is also the easiest DI to chain into an aerial combo if you decide to switch to that instead. For away DI, Falcon is unable to regrab Sheik as she gets sent too far and hits the ground, leading to another tech chase situation. Moving on to Falcon's up throw chain grab on Fox, this is also not a true chain grab as it only works on behind DI or no DI. As away DI, Falcon will either tech chase, or he could get an aerial follow-up at high percents. For no DI, this works from 43% until 105%, and for behind DI, this works from 43% until 130%. For no DI, you can regrab Fox by going for a small dash jump cancel regrab. You just have to delay the regrab a little bit more as Fox gets to high percents. To finish this chain grab, you can go for an up throw into a knee at high percents. For behind DI, from 43% until 86%, Falcon can regrab by going for a turnaround regrab. From 86% onward, he has to turn around dash jump cancel regrab instead. You can finish this chain grab by going for an up throw into a reverse knee. For away DI, Fox gets sent too far before you're able to regrab him, so you must go for a tech chase. However, 
at 115% onwards, you're able to get a running, instant up air, and you can hit Fox with that before he lands. Falcon's up throw chain grab on Falco is almost exactly the same as the chain grab on Fox, with the only differences being the percentages that you can chain grab and follow up on. For no DI, Falcon can re-grab from 40% until 126%, and for behind DI, he can re-grab from 40% until 139%. For away DI, Falcon can tech chase as well if Falco's under 116%, otherwise he can hit him with a running instant up bear instead. For no DI, Falcon can re-grab Falco by going for a small dash jump cancel re-grab. You have to actually grab Falco a little bit slower than you might think, as it takes a while to fall back down, but you're still able to re-grab him. You can end this chain grab at this DI by going for an up throw into a knee. For behind DI, from 40% until 80%, Falcon can re-grab Falco by going for a turnaround re-grab. However, starting at 80% and going to 139%, he must do a turnaround dash jump cancel re-grab instead. You can finish this by going for an up throw into a reverse knee, similar to Fox. Lastly, for away DI, Falcon cannot re-grab Falco. However, if Falco is below 116%, Falcon can get a tech chase, and if he is above 116%, Falcon can go for a running instant up air as well. For our final chain grab, we have Falcon's up throw chain grab versus himself. This chain grab is not a true chain grab, and it does work differently than his other two chain grabs on Fox and Falco. For no DI, Falcon is able to re-grab himself from 75% into 100%, but for behind DI, he is able to start the chain grab as low as 30% and have it go up to 98%. On a wave DI, Falcon is either forced to tech chase at low percents or go for an aerial follow up at high percents. For no DI, Falcon can chain grab himself by going for a small dash jump cancel re grab and waiting a bit on the re grab. He can finish this by going for an up throw into a knee. Or behind DI, Falcon is able to re grab himself from 30% until 70% by doing a turnaround re grab. Starting from 70% until 98%, he's able to re-grab himself by going for a turnaround dash jump cancel re-grab instead. And you can finish this chain grab with a bear or a reverse knee. For away DI, Falcon is able to escape this chain grab, as low percents will set him into a tech chase situation, and at high percents he's able to jump out. You can go for an aerial follow-up, however, such as an instant up air, if you're quick enough at high percents. And with that, we have covered every possible Captain Falcon chain grab in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Hopefully you learned something and enjoyed this video. And if you want to add some information on what you like to do with Falcon's chain grabs, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.